The purpose of this video is to set the foundation so you can start maximizing the unique characteristics of different players. If you want to become the best 2K player you can be, you'll need to understand how to use strength, speed, and size effectively. So today we'll look at the basics of the Bulldozer Badge. Hit the like and subscribe button to keep more of these videos on their way. Bulldozer Badge obviously is the successor to the Bully Badge last year, but the Bully Badge was limited to just layups started on the ground, while the Bulldozer Badge will now trigger during body ups and during the jump of layup attempt. This badge is simple to trigger. To trigger a Bulldozer animation from a dribble contact, you simply need to force a defender to shift off a size up or get them back pedaling. Stamina is the biggest key to these interactions. Here is an example of how running out of stamina destroys your strength, so we want to hold off on triggering the turbo button until we have an angle on the defender to use this badge effectively. Now this badge will feel OP when using this against weaker players or players without clamps or immovable enforcer. You can still activate this badge which I'll show shortly versus these defenders but it won't trigger as easily versus a bad or players with little to no strength. Now let's look at bulldozer layups. Bulldozer layups are simply triggered by pressing the right stick towards the defender. This will cause the offensive player to initiate contact and bump the defender backwards negating his ability to block your shot. These animations won't be triggered if you're being well defended or if he's completely in front of you. You can also trigger a bulldozer animation pressing the right stick away from the defender, but the key to both is being in a contact animation while the defender is on your hip. So now that we understand how this badge works, let's look at how we can use it online. So here's a perfect example of how the bulldozer animations will change versus really good defender. Jalen is playing too high up on LeBron and is jamming him. I always examine the foot placement and stance of the defender. And the stance that Jalen is in right now is telling me that he's giving me the middle. So this is where I'll attack. A blow by animation won't trigger, which is fine because we are going to use Jalen's aggressive defense against him. A quick turbo step towards the rim, Jalen stays on LeBron's hip, and then I'm going to press the right stick towards Jalen. And here's just some additional advice. If you are dealing with a overly aggressive defender in real life or in 2K, keep it simple. You don't want to do a whole bunch of dribbling because they're going to open up their stance and you need to be able to attack that slither of space as quickly as possible. And you can't do that if you're doing a whole bunch of dribbling. So that's also a perfect example right there with Jalen against LeBron. The absolute best situation where you should use the bulldozer layups will be in transition with a somewhat cleared paint. This user decided to go off ball and this hurts him more than anything because he's camped out in the paint and he isn't covering Tory Craig who can knock down that open three. So I'm going to absorb the contact and use the hip right animation which you're seeing right here, which is your sign that the bulldozer badge can now be activated. Again, always read where the help is and don't try to attack a crowded paint with these animations. Another perfect time to use the bulldozer badge is when you're attacking the middle, especially if you have somebody like LeBron who also has bailout. You really are in a lose-lose situation as the defense if you're able to trigger this animation. You allow them to drive middle because as you saw right there on the perimeter, Gabe Vincent is very open for a three. And that is a prime example of how you should kind of think about where you're going and where you're driving. And also again, think about where the help defense is. Another situation where I love using the bulldozer badge is going to be in the pick and fade. This is a scenario that a lot of people don't think about using this badge in, but I really like using this badge because as you're seeing right here, if you can get the defender to close out a little too hard, throwing all the momentum to stop in the three, you can use that to your advantage. You're going to get into that hip right animation pretty easily or automatically at some times. And then once you're in that hip right animation, like you're seeing right here, go straight into your bulldozer badge. A lot of people only think about shooting the three or just resetting their offense if that shot is not there but the pick and fade is perfect for the bulldozer badge as well so we're going to the last scenario and i'm going to break this down right now god bless their god bless their yeah i said god bless their so i apologize for allowing my intrusive thoughts to win and uh inserting some cringe into this video I look man i'm doing commentary I, I sit here for a while trying to record this stuff man and i just i don't know i just needed something to do but anyway um <laughs> We're going to uh, basically say the last situation that you should use the Budo as a badge is going to be when you catch the basketball at the elbow. Obviously, if you have somebody like Derek White who's much smaller, go right at the smaller defender. But the other thing too is make sure that you remember gold in Hall of Fame, you get bigger thrown off animations. And that is why LeBron <laughs> shaked 
Derek White out of the play. If you go back and you look at the play, it's Jason Tatum that fouled him, not even Derek White, because Derek White got bumped all the way out of the paint. So that is a scenario that you should use the bulldozer badges. I'm Jersey May 93. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this badge guide. And hopefully you guys let me know what other badges you would like for me to go over. I'm going to try to go over all of them, or if not, most of them. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Check out my last couple videos, which is the right stick defense, as well as speed boost with Donovan Mitchell. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button as well as subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Jersey May 93. Peace.